What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. And today I'm going to show you how to change the colors of one part of your picture, image, or drawing in Photoshop. So as you can see I have a picture of a couple of Girl Scouts and as you can see they have on uniforms and usually with a uniform it's got to be a specific color. What we're going to do in this video is change those colors as if the girls in this illustration were to have different colored uniforms. So as you can see I have the image right up here in Photoshop and that's the only layer that I have so far. So what we're going to do first is select the parts of the picture that we want to change the colors of. So let's go to our selection tools. And right here I have magic wand tool selected, so we're gonna use that. But you can use any other selection tool that you want. But having that layer selected, we're gonna zoom in and holding the shift key so we can select multiple areas at the same time. I'm gonna click on the beret, this other part of the beret, this other part of the beret, the headband. The socks, the shorts, the shoes, and then the bottom portion of the shorts as well. Shoes on this character, pants on this character, and the beret on this character, and the other parts of the beret. Okay, so everything is now selected. So now that we have everything selected, now we can begin changing the colors. So let's open our hue saturation window. So to do that, we can go all the way up here to image, go to adjustments, and then going to hue saturation or using the keyboard shortcut command U. And then this window pops up. So right here, there's different options. You can choose the hue, which would obviously be the color. The saturation of it would be the intensity of the color. And then the lightness would be the darkness or the lightness of the color. So really, you can just play around with this setting by just dragging this to and from. And make sure this checkbox by preview is on so that way you can see which colors you're using. So right now it's at a blue. And then right now this is at a purple. This is at like a dark yellow now. But let's try to change it to like a burgundy. Let's go with like a burgundy color. Burgundy or magenta sort of color. So let's just play around with this setting. And this looks like a darker version of the color that I'm going for. So let's make that a little lighter. Let's keep playing around with these settings. Let's make it saturated. Ooh, yeah, so yeah. So we're still making progress. So, okay, making a lot more progress now. And there we go, we got us our burgundy colors for our Girl Scout uniforms. So let's hit OK once we're satisfied with everything. And then everything is still selected. So now let's hit Command D to deselect. And there we go. That's how you change the colors for the uniforms. Let me show you another example, but let's do that with the shirts. So let's click on our layer, hit our magic wand tool, have that selected and holding the shift key while we're selecting so we can have multiple areas selected. I'm gonna select the shirts and the shaded portions of the shirt as well. And the shirt on this character too. Have that selected along with the shades. And now that those shirts are selected, let's use our keyboard shortcut this time, Command U. And then our hue saturation window pops up. So now let's decide what color we wanna use. Hmm, what color goes good with that? How about a light blue? So before we change this color, we know that it's kind of light, so we probably won't need to play with the lightness setting, but let's change the hue of this color. Make that 
Okay, so we got a light blue going on. Now that we moved it over here, but I feel we can go a little bit lighter with that. So let's move that to the right. Okay, and then if you want to saturate it some more, you can do that. And there we go. So let's hit OK. Now that we're satisfied with our changes and the deselect, all we got to do is hit Command D to deselect. Okay, so now let's do this one more time, but with a background. So make sure Magic Wand tool is on. Select. Let's try to do the backdrop too. A few minutes later. Okay, so now I have the background selected. So let's use our keyboard shortcut again to have the hue saturation window up. Command U. And now let's change the background. What color are we gonna change it to? If you're not sure what color you're gonna change it to, you can always just play around with this setting, making sure preview is on. I think that looks pretty nice. I got a lot of pale colors back there. So I think that looks pretty good. So let's hit okay. And then hit Command D to deselect. And there we go. So here's one more look at what the original image looks like with all of those colors. And compare that to the picture that we just edited in today's video. And yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you change colors in Photoshop. There are a lot of other ways you can change the colors in Photoshop, but this is the method that I use when it comes to changing colors to a specific area in my illustrations. But if you did like the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.